Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, in a previous video, I, I talked about this new uh, window cockpit. Uh, it, I was going to upgrade this uh, pug nose cockpit in, uh, on the level 10 version. So I thought I'd bring you guys in for that and uh, just talk about cutting and pasting between ships here a little bit if you haven't done that before. Um, so to bring up the uh, uh, tool here, uh, hit the N key as in Nancy. Uh, you want to hit selection and then while this window's up, you want to click on the uh, bottom left corner of where you want to cut. Um, and then I usually hit the N key again to get rid of that so I can move around. It, it leaves the selection there. Um, I want to move around and, and find the top right corner. Uh, of, and I want to be sure and get all the glass. So I, this is a, a two block uh, piece of glass here. So hit the N key again and just left click on the upper right corner where you want to cut. Uh, so that I, I took the window away with the N key. Um, so that gives me this box. Uh, but I need to go up a block higher uh, to get more. Um, it's different from how that shaped over there. So when you click on this here to uh, go to the scale and then the single block here will take you, if you click on it, it'll go up one block at a time. Uh, if you grab here you can drag up and down uh, and, and make it taller. Uh, I usually do it one block at a time just so I'm, I know exactly where it's going to end up. Um, so I've now expanded that to grab uh, these top blocks as well, uh, but not the turrets. Uh, uh, but I'm grabbing all of this slope all the way down here because on this one, the slope only goes up a block or two and then it goes up and over to give you headroom in here for this uh, configuration so uh, this is done a little differently so I'm going to grab all of that um, and then at this point I, I just I, I know what it's doing on the outside but I, it's unclear what's happening on the inside so I'll, I'll come in here and look Looks like it's going to grab, you know, the, the bed, the closet, you know, these blocks here. Uh, there were, on the other configuration, there's a couple of additional solid blocks right here uh, that uh, allow for a, a hole right here for two more fuel tanks. Uh, but this configuration doesn't allow that. I've got two of them still up there, but I had to move the other two down here. Uh, so I know that's different. Um, it's going to grab basically all of this area here. And if we go below, uh, that also includes, looks like it's grabbing the top half of that double window there. Uh, that's a double height window. Uh, same thing on these. Uh, it's going to grab these container extensions. Uh, which is okay on the level 10 version. When I did this for the level 5 version, I had to come back and remove the container extensions because they're unlike level 7. Uh, but it looks like it's going to eliminate the warp drive that's already in that level 10 one over there uh, because it's come down into that area. If I paste this over there, anywhere there's empty blocks, it's going to remove whatever's in the, that space. So uh, something to be aware of. Uh, so, uh, I'll go ahead and do the cut and paste this way, and then we'll come back and do it again in, in pieces and, and try and get a better uh, uh, result. But, uh, so, assume that I'm happy with this right now. I want to bring this back up and just do a copy. Um, that copies it into my current selection. Um, now I want to come over here and you could click out the same area on here it doesn't really matter I, I don't think it's going to work very well anyway uh, I think it 
puts it where you click the top right corner. I will try that. Uh, roughly here. So you want to click on selection again because you're going between two different ships. So deselect it. Click on it again. Now you're making a selection on this ship. So just click that block there and then click paste once. And you can see it, it puts a preview of what it's going to do. Um, it looks like it was going to do it at the bottom of this side. Uh, excuse me. Okay, I'm back. Uh, a little sneeze there. Uh, but so there's a preview of, of what it's going to paste onto the ship. So now we want to move that into the position. So bring up the window. Uh, go into move mode if you're not already, not already in it. We already are. Uh, so we're just going to drag it down. Uh, leave it there. It looks like I need to move it back one as well. So let's move it back one. And then down. So that is in the correct position. You can see this uh, kind of orange color carried over from there, but as soon as I paste it, oh, I got to move it right to the right one as well. There we go. Uh, as soon as I paste it, it's going to use the palette on this ship, so it'll turn blue. Uh, they're in the same palette position that cuts. I use the same color uh, position for those. So uh, down here, uh, I, I was using this cockpit on this uh, ship, but I switched over to this one. And you can see all this is going to change. Uh, it's probably going to eliminate these three windows uh, because it's clipping away the top half of them. Um, or, or, and or didn't bring over the top half. <laughs> uh, it's probably going to eliminate the warp drive. Um, so once you're happy with the positioning, you want to click paste a second time and that puts it in place. So paste. Now we can go look and see what we've done. And I usually just leave it, uh, leave the selection box there uh, until I'm happy with it because otherwise if I'm not happy with it, I can do undo and reposition the thing uh, still kind of intact. Uh, so go look at the results. Uh, yeah, it got rid of those windows. Uh, it replaced the extensions, but they were the same extensions that were there already. Uh, so that's fine. Uh, you can see it got rid of two of those fuel tanks, so I'd have to add those down here. That's fine. Got rid of the warp drive. so. I could just use this as is. Uh, you can see it repositioned and change the cockpit out. Um, I could just use this just like this uh, and come back in here and replace these windows. Replace the warp drive that got deleted. Replace the pentaxa tank which also got deleted. It's a two block tall thing. Uh, uh, the fuel tanks have got to go in either way. Um, so I could just do this but uh, just for instructional purposes, let's uh, see if there's alternatives. So let me uh, undo. That brings that back. Uh, now we still got the selection there, but uh, let's see. If, I, if I'm going to go back to the other ship, I'm going to use a different selection anyway, so let's get rid of that. So if I want to avoid those uh, pitfalls, what I can do is change the selection. Instead of coming down here, uh, I want to get this row here, uh, this row of blocks, because that's shaped different than what's over there. <coughs> but <clears throat> let me leave them there for now because that is what got me, that's what got rid of the uh, warp drive. Uh, by going on that row. So let's go above it by a row. Let's start there. Uh, I think all the top was pretty fine. Uh, mostly it was just these windows and the warp drive that uh, 
I got blown away by doing it that way, so I'll come over here and grab here again, switch over to scaling, go up a block. So smaller selection that does not include this row, we'll just paste that over separately. Uh, so copy that selection. Come back over here. Let me track looking here. Uh, so undo the selection. Uh, we, we copied it already. Reselect and then click here. Now you do a paste. Yeah, it's still not going to work. <laughs> uh, and then move it into position. And I got it more, more lined up that time anyway. Um, and that looks good. So still going to replace everything up here. But now we're not going to affect these windows of the warp drive or the Pentaxa tank. Still going to replace the fuel tanks because uh, they're contained in that selection. Uh, so yeah, that looks good. So we click paste a second time. Once you're happy with it, boom. See it turns back to blue. That means it's it's pasted it and you just have the selection left. Uh, but we're going to get rid of it this time. Uh, so now it's pasted on. Everything's happy, except we need to still replace the, this set of blocks right here. Uh, but we can do that now without affecting the glass or the Pentaxa tank or the warp drive. So we'll go back over here. And select yeah, just these blocks really. Copy that. Over here, deselect, reselect. Uh, so let me get to where I can. I'll try it this way, and then paste. And that puts those blocks where you need them, and. All looks good, so paste again. Boom, inserted. Get rid of that selection. Alright, so now we've transferred that cockpit onto this ship without affecting any of the uh, uh, getting rid of these things. So the cockpit got changed, swapped out for a different type, but that's okay. Uh, and we're going to add some fuel tanks back in here. Uh, this is the level 10 ship, I'm not level 10. Uh, one, two. So we had two small tanks and I'm just replacing it with one larger tank. Um, I don't know why I didn't replace those already, but uh, uh, well, I guess on the smaller ships I actually had uh, one of the uh, generators right here. I was trying to remember what to, why I left that space open, but uh, uh, we can go ahead and replace those tanks as well. I would normally do this in symmetry, symmetry mode, but just doing one operation, so I can stand to do that. Uh, so there's room to add uh, additional fuel tanks in here. I just this is kind of the minimal uh, configuration for fuel tanks. Uh, it's only four. Uh, so there you go. Uh, copy and paste tutorial. <laughs> complete. Uh, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you found it useful and uh, catch you next time.